First thing I want to say before we start this video, look at that beautiful rack of Thursday clothes in the back. Also, second thing I want to say, thank you guys for 89 subscribers. Like, I really appreciate it. We're still on our grind to the top. It is 12 right now, um, and I'm doing this. So, hopefully, hard work pays off, and I appreciate it. So, with that being said, let's get to the video. What is up, guys? So, it's another day, another thrift. Probably finna head to the same thrift that I usually head to. On top of that, I'm gonna go and expand to more thrift stores. Mainly because I do want to start a Depop. Like I said in my last video, if you guys watched my last video. I feel like, bro, mark my words. I'm gonna start a Depop and sell, like, all my, my clothes that I get from thrifting. Just so I can get some of the, the shirts that I have, like, out and get new ones in like bro it's gonna be so beautiful like i'm telling you like it, it just just y'all gotta look at the vision for real y'all don't see the vision but i see it and that's all right uh so right now the first stop out of all i'm gonna go to walmart and see if i can buy a shelf so when i do get started with my depop i can start an inventory so that's what i'm gonna be doing today and hopefully everything goes well so right now i'm gonna go get the shelf and i want it to be high i want it to be at least like six foot so i can stack a lot of clothes because i do have clothes that are in my room that i do want to like get rid of and sell also i'm gonna try to start doing pop-up shops hopefully those work out for me i'm not really sure i am nervous talking around people but i'm gonna try to you know work through that but first i have to find one i'm pretty sure i already have one in mind but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go get the shelf. So we have stopped at Goodwill. This is the first store we're going to. Now, I was going to go to Walmart first, but, you know, on my way to Walmart, these stores are here. So I was like, why not? Just to check out what they have. But also, I just wanted to inform you guys, I am going to put my Depop in the description. So that way, any piece that you guys see, you can go ahead and like order it or buy it or, you know, just bid. So yeah, with, with that being said, I'm going to go in here and I'll show you what I find when I find it. So I'll see y'all back. So the first thing I came across in this Goodwill is I seen this red, black, and white cardigan. Decided to keep it uh, pretty tough. Then I found this all-around print. Definitely have to keep that one. So vintage. This sweater, I just like the color of it. It's by New Works. And this, I had a little controversy on. I was like, mm, should I keep it? And then I just decided to put it back on the shelf. And then you already know we have to get the Planet uh, Hollywood shirt by London. So the first thing we got is this long sleeve knitted sweater. Now, one thing I really like about this sweater is, first of all, it's knitted. And then the second thing is the purple, green, and blue going on. I think it's just really cool with the gray. Now, the second thing I got is a knitted tank top. Again, something I would definitely wear. It's made by these people who don't really know too much about it. It's pretty tough. Next thing we have is this uh, Planet Hollywood London edition. It's an extra large. Yeah, I just went ahead and got it because I was like, Planet Hollywood, why not? Clear water outfitters. And it is a all around print of some lady like in a lemonade jar. Like this is like my favorite thing of today. Now I'm gonna try to head to this other thrift store because I do have something like for school, like a meeting to go to at 11. I don't know how long that's gonna last. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and be line for the store. It's not too far away. It's like a minute or two away. I decided to go to the family thrift center since it's super duper close. Um, so we're here, I'm gonna go in and see what we can find. Hopefully we find some more good stuff. I feel like we're gonna be on the road today. So um, yeah, let's just go in and do our best, basically. Sorry if you guys hear like a lot of cars and stuff. I am by a freeway. Anyways, so first thing that I got is this, uh, the Mountain 100% cotton, uh, full print, like tie-dye type feel. It has a, all the ego on here. I just like this so much. Like I would literally wear this. That material is definitely 100% cotton. Every time y'all see me rub my hands after I touch a shirt like that, bro, that that cotton just sucked all the moisture out of my hand. It's not even funny. The next thing that I got is these, whoa, these Storm 3. This was a steal, boy. I bought these for $10, right? These are Under Armour 3XL sweatpants. And look at the retail price. $99.99, so basically $100. Then they tried to put it on sale for $46.71. But bro, this 
This is still, and I was contemplating on getting them. This is a steal. I'm probably gonna sell these for around fifty to sixty dollars. Guys, I finally got out of that meeting, bro. Bro, tell me why. I'm not even gonna lie, to you. I got there at twelve. No, I got there at eleven thirty. Pick my phone up, bro. It was twelve fifty nine. What is going on? Anyways, it's just a jump cut for y'all, but bro, for me that was so long. Y'all can see in the back. We're at Goodwill. We finna go in here. See what we can find. So I am taking one for the team right now. It is insanely hot in my car. Funny, but I want to show y'all what I got. Uh, they had bins also in, inside there, there were bins. Uh, I usually never find anything at bins. Next we have this Devin and Jones uh, sweater. I think it was just pretty cool color, navy, and then it has this on the sleeves. Definitely something I will wear. I also got these Croft and Barrel dreams. B barrel, borrow, barrel. Uh, I just feel like they look insanely sleek. Like they're so nice. I like the cargos on them. I also got um, another pair of them because uh, I seen them inside and they're like, and they're green. They just look pretty tough also. Uh, also cargos on here. There's people staring at me. Next, I did get this, uh, this skeleton tee mainly because I have one already. And I would just think it would just be pretty cool if I give my girlfriend the one that I have because it's like extremely small. And then I wear this one, which is a little bit larger. The next, another probably one of my favorite is this Paul Jones 1958 knitted cardigan. Feels tough. And yeah, that was the last thing I got. So next I'm gonna go to this other store. Um, not really sure. I do have to get back on my side of town because that lady took up all my time in the interview. Well, not the interview, but the, the meeting. So I'm probably gonna go to one more thrift then I'm gonna head back home. And then on the way home, I'm gonna stop by Walmart, which I was supposed to stop by Walmart. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all over there. Okay guys, so we finally arrived at the Family Thrift Center. I'm finna go in here, see what we can find. <laughs> So, let me roll up my windows. Y'all, it's so hot, I'm so sorry. So, I just got out of that store from the thrift. I was walking out the store, bag so full, it ripped on me. Y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this receipt. 704, 704, right? Got all this, man. Let me show y'all everything that I got. First off is this red Canada uh, Montreal uh, shirt. Just thought it was really cool because it's embroidered. Look at that, it's super beautiful. It does have this on the back, but I can probably get that out. The next thing we have, shirt right here, it just has this in the middle. I thought it was embroidered when I was looking at it. It's by No Boundaries. The next thing that I got was this Lee Total Cotton uh, T-shirt. It says, yes dear on it, blue and white. I just thought this was something I would wear. So I was like, why not be something I would sell? This is probably one of my favorite finds today. This is Texas cotton, right? Look at this shirt. It's a Texas flag collared shirt. Thought this was super neat. Something I would like style 100%. And I was like, why not? It's an extra large. This is definitely one of my favorite finds today. Next up, we have these um, Under Armour, uh, their uh, sweatpants. Yeah, I just got them. I just felt like they would be cool. If they don't sell, I'm gonna keep them for myself because they're black. I, I really love that uh, feel that they have to them, super breathable. We have this um, this sweater right here. I'm not sure what it says right here, but it's a sweater. It's like super hairy, but it's soft and it has gold on it, like going across the body. I think it's cool. The only thing is this thing sheds a lot. Next, we got this cool fix IZOD, IZOD, IZOD shirt. That's how I would say it. Really like this one. Looks like a bowling tee or like, I don't know, but it has a turtleneck right here, kind of like a fitted uh, thing. Then it has stripes on both sides of the shirts. And it also has the brand on the sleeve. I really thought this was neat because I'm like black and white. So we have this London Fog. Yeah, so we have this London Fog jacket. It looks like this. It's really just a normal jacket. It looks like a rain hoodie. I'll probably put a better picture up because this thing is large, y'all, uh, and it's hard to hold up. Next, I got this Comfort Colors, which was literally one main reason. I saw the sleeve poking out. I was like, wow. I was like, that looks that looks pretty nice. So I went ahead and got this and um, it has this uh, graphic, which I just thought was really cool. Gonna try to sell it. If it doesn't sell, like I said, I'll keep that for me. This is a baby blue. Um, wow, it's by the same people, Com comfort colors, literally. Wow, that's pretty funny. On the back, this is pretty cool. Just thought 
uh you know if it's summer vibe the color it was probably once a shirt before and someone just made it like that because you can tell as it looks like someone just cut the sleeves off Six foot, seven foot, spun a block like eight times. Buddy pot attendant, grabbed a nine and he took eight lives. Homie asked me, could I take the blame? It's like I'm eight con, but he got caught with two banana clips and not the eight con. So I finally laid everything out of my bed. Um, I'm probably gonna show you guys now the clothes that I'm also gonna try to be selling uh, at thrift events or even on Depop. So first things first, we got these Get Stungs. This is Scorpion on the back of them. And on the side, it says Scorpion also. The pants on the side open up to like flares. Next up, we also have another pair of black, and this time they're by Bad Company, uh, 2Ds. They look similar to the first pants. No knee pads actually but they are and do have uh, flare abilities. The next thing I have is this vintage crew neck of Looney Tunes. This is embroidered. It does have like some stains and stuff on that. Quick wash could fix this. Early in the video, I told you I had another Planet Fitness uh, shirt, tee, whatever you want to call it. And this one is Dallas. The other one was London. This one is black. Obviously it needs like a little wash. Uh, it's pretty white at the top right there. The next thing on the list is this Marvel uh, t-shirt with the Incredible Hulk on it. I thrifted this like a month or two ago. I thought this was pretty cool. I was like, wow. If it's really tight on me, it can show my muscles and stuff like that. The next thing is, I don't even know who this is by. It's just a sweater and it has holes in it and the bottom looks like this. Next thing is this Hot Topic tee. It's purple stripes, super cool. Think it'd go for a lot of money. So I'm gonna sell it also. And next up we have this Hoonigan extra large t-shirt. It says kill all tires Hoonigan. So I feel like this one can sell for a lot. So we're gonna test our luck with that one. The next one, I really like it, but mm, it doesn't fit me as well. So this one is a redhead uh, real tree shirt. I feel like everybody really loves real tree. I just don't like this black part around it, but I'm pretty sure we can get a good price for it. Then we got this 1984 St. Johnson's uh, Bay puffer vest. And I just really like the color brown on this one. And this one says, uh, we'll get there anytime soon with a flower. And then on the back, it has a bigger print and it says seeking for proudness and a bunch of motivational stuff that I think is pretty cool. My other favorites, which is this Twilight shirt. It's a medium. It looks super duper good on my body. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I don't really wear it. Uh, I just think it's really cool font. And I feel like someone who really loves Y2K would want to buy it. This one is this Harley Davidson t-shirt. Now I'm gonna try to sell this one for $40 mainly because I did buy it for 25 when uh, I first seen it. So we have this Harley Davidson on the front with this little like old Y2K type feel to it. And lastly, we have this Dockers uh, sweater. It looks like a saggy sweater. That's what I call it when I first got it. Um, it is pretty hot. I really do like this sweater, but I feel like uh, I can rock a bunch of different sweaters because it's kind of long on me. So that's the last thing. I do want to say um, I am starting a Depop. Uh, I already started up everything that I needed to. So I'm going to be trying to go thrifting every Wednesday or every time I'm off um, to like get in new stuff for y'all and then post it on the Depop. And I'm going to try to do the fastest shipping possible. I'm going to try to do it in one to two days, possibly, if not one to three. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get to the montage with me putting on the clothes and folding them over. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like while we get to this right here. So as you guys can see, I finally did all the clothes. So I put the shorts at the top uh, because you know, it is summer, which would only make the most sense. Then we have the shirts and cardigans because I feel like you can still wear a cardigan. You just wouldn't have to wear a thin shirt. Um, that's just me though. I would wear a cardigan, but it just depends on the circumstances. Then we have pants. Then we have sweaters and jackets and hoodies and crew necks and every other type of long sleeve that you could possibly think of at the very bottom because it is summer, it's hot. If someone's gonna buy it, it's probably gonna be the last thing on their list. Um, so yeah, the whole thing looks like that, you know? 
that's the bottom of it and i just think it's pretty neat it, it cost me like 30 dollars at walmart the next thing i do want to get is a, a wagon because i do have to wash all the clothes before i sell them then i also have to take pictures in a nice area for all the clothes to sell well so that's what we're gonna do um i'm pretty sure this is gonna be the end of this video it is like 12 at night i'm grinding um <laughs> And right now I'm also going to um, do a pack opening because I bought some new shoes. So with that being said, I really appreciate you guys if you made it to the end for watching. Obviously, like always, I would highly appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, comment your favorite piece, comment what you would have done differently, which stores you guys go to in Houston, Texas. And yeah, I'll catch y'all the next one. Keep an eye out for that Depop. I am going to list it in the uh, description down below. And thank you guys once again. We did hit 89 subscribers. That is another thing. I appreciate you guys with all the love in my heart. Peace. My back getting fast. Yeah, till the day that I die. Swear to God, I'ma still be getting racks. Gotta listen to my new shit like that, man. Play that bass. See, now they're pressing me like that, man. You did all of this.